All right. Thank you all so much for coming out this morning. Let us begin on our backs, taking a moment just to see how we feel. As much space as you want to take up on your mat, reaching overhead, reaching long through the toes, drawing those knees in towards the chest, perhaps rocking from side to side, see how the lower back feels, outer hips. We will start with our parallel feet bridges. So grounding down, finding that proximity to the hips that works for you. And we will begin pressing those hips up and lower to a hover. Squeeze as you lift and try and keep as much engagement through the glutes as you can as we lift and lower. Squeeze, driving that tailbone long in between the legs, finding that nice engagement through the belly. That's it, keep going, finding that pace that works for you so you really feel those glutes firing. Okay, that's it, Richard, looks good. Good morning, Hamish. Up and down, squeeze and lower. Sharp exhale, belly helps support the lower back so there's nothing through the lower back that feels aggravated. We'll finish up the slow pace in five, four, three, two, one. Just stay lifted through the hips and it's the heels that go up and down. So you maintain that lift through the hips and just find your heels up and down, lowering, squeezing the whole time so you get even more opportunity to engage. Yes, that's it, Meg. Squeeze, squeeze, good work. Again, the tailbone is lengthening towards the front edge of your mat. Yeah, coach, nice work. And you're keeping that nice, strong exhale at the top to feel that firming through the belly. That's it, Nicole. We'll finish up our heel lifts and lowers in five, four, three, two, one, stay super high on your tippy toes, adjust your feet as you need to, and little pulses from here. So a very narrow band of movement as you find those glutes switching on as much as you can. This is where we really start to feel <laughs> the last two and a half minutes of our bridges. Yeah, keep going, keep going. That's awesome, you guys. Nice, Tom. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Find that support through the shoulders so you can arc those hips higher towards the ceiling. Nice work, Philly, let's go. Oh yeah. So you are not dropping down, but just finding as much of a lift as you can and a tiny little pulse from that lift. Yeah, that's it, Hamish, keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And we'll finish out this last little parallel feet bridges in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Lower down, hug those knees into your chest, rocking from side to side. And we'll set up for our wide-legged bridges, turning the toes out to the outside edges of our mat. Heels are farther from your hips. And we begin a slow pace, lift and hover. Squeeze and lower. So the slower pace allows you to really tune in to what needs to fire. That's it, Phil, you got it, keep going. Squeeze and lower. Can you find a little softening through your jaw as you stay engaged through the back body? So try not to wear the tension building through the hips and glutes on your face, through your shoulders. Keep that breath strong. Yeah, that's it, keep going. You got it, Sav. Lift and hover, squeeze. Oh yeah. We'll finish the slower pace in five, four, three, two, one. Just those heels go up and down. So again, adjust your feet as you need to as close to your torso 
maintain that nice lift of the back body. So it is still somewhat of a slow pace. So you can really feel everything activate. You may start to feel those calves get nice and warm. Yeah, that's it, so keep going. Long through the tailbone, squeezing the backside. So good for the glutes, those stabilizing muscles of the glute lead. Starting to feel those adductors, of course, those inner thighs. Lift and lower, squeeze. We'll finish up our heel lifts and lowering in five, yeah, four, three, two, one. Stay super lifted in those tippy toes. Again, adjust as you need to through the feet so you can arc higher and higher and pulse it up from here. So this little blast as we finish out our wide-legged bridges. Nice work, Tom, keep going. Can you get a little higher? Maybe a little more of a stiletto heel through the tippy toes. Oh yeah, fire, fire. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, softening through your face, strong through your belly. Tiny little pulses here. Keep going, we're finishing up our last little wide-legged bridge blast in 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, hug those knees in towards the chest, rock from side to side. Ooh, yeah. Finishing up our bridge series with our butterfly legs, soles of the feet come together, and pressing into the outside edges of the feet, let's lift and hover, squeeze and lower. So important to think about your tailbone lengthening here as you take this different shape through the legs. So still supported by your strong backside, strong belly, and getting as high as you can. Clearly you won't get as high as you do in your other shape through the legs, but certainly finding those adductors getting a little more attention Lift and hover. That's it, Meg, nice work. Squeeze and lower. We'll finish these up in five. The slow pace ones, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted and pulse it out here. This is our last little blast for our bridges. So again, that tiny little band of movement. Yeah, Philly, keep going, press, press, press. You got it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh yeah, everything should really be switching on. Pressing into the outside edges of the feet, toes and knees are in the same line, so nothing through the knees. It's all the glutes that are firing to keep that lift. Awesome work, Richard, you got it, keep going. Squeeze, squeeze. Even through the breath, belly's engaged, tailbone drives down towards your heels. Yeah, that's it, Cooch, keep going. And we'll finish out our bridges in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, everyone. Hug it on in, rock from side to side. Fantastic work. We'll set up for our plank series. Right leg is down, left leg crosses in front to support. We're bringing our right forearm down, not collapsing that right shoulder. Send the left arm high, and here we go. Feel that nice arc shape through the underside of that right side waist. Yeah, keep going. Good work, everyone. So as you press down into the feet, can you keep those heels, hips, and shoulders all in a line? Can you reach a little higher with the left arm to pull that left side waist higher? All right, 30 seconds, we're gonna offer up the scoop under. So taking that rotation through the thoracic only, you wanna avoid bringing that left hip with you, thanks to your nice strength through that right side. Yeah, so good. Nice and smooth through the movement, strong through the side waist. That's it, Cooch, looks great. Using your breath. Yeah, 
and we'll come onto our bellies. We're finished with our right side plank. 30 seconds of back extension work. So we'll do swimmers for 30 seconds, reaching your arms out long and paddling arms and legs. Find a little length through the back of the neck so you're not twerking your neck too much, but staying lifted through the chest, lifted through the limbs as you switch on those back extensors. Yes, so good, that's it, Seth. Keep paddling. Find your breath to support that muscle engagement. Yeah, fantastic work, Hamish. Keep going, keep going. And change. Good work on the back extensors. We'll set up for our 90 second plank hold. Prepare, and I am honest to that clock. <laughs> Here we go, heels are pressing away. Maybe the feet are hips distance just to give a little more space through the lower back. Really feeling those quads switch on and zipping up that underside of your belly like you're trying to cinch your frontal hip points towards your floating ribs, that's so strong. Pressing into the forearms. You're not collapsing through the shoulder blades, but almost like a protraction through the upper back. Yeah, that's it, really nice. And can you take the tension out of your face here? Finding a little more space between the back teeth. Yeah, so good. That is halfway through. You need to come down onto your knees to take a little rest and then jump back in. Feel free to do that. Looks awesome, Nicole, you got it, keep going. Building some heat through your strong bellies, strong legs. Even through your breath. Feel that tailbone lengthening here, strong through your belly, those hips are not lifting. So good, you everyone. And last three, two, one, well done. Let's swim it on out for our back extension. 30 seconds. So can you feel that nice lift up through the chest? Feel that stretch through the belly after our plank holds? Keep going as you find that fluttering supported by your strong back muscles. That's it, Tom, nice work, keep going. Paddle, 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 yeah. And change. We'll swap on over to our left side forearm, finding that right leg stack in front. Ground down through both feet and allow that right arm to help you lift up towards the ceiling. Again, just checking, make sure there's no sort of weird check mark through the body, but nice Vertical stacking through the shoulders and shoulders, hips, and heels are all in a straight line. So good, you guys. How's your breath as you reach those right fingertips towards the ceiling? Yeah, so everyone went up a few centimeters. Looks so good. And here's that 30 second count. If you wanted to add that rotation through the upper back, that's it, Phil, nice. Avoiding bringing that right hip with you. Oh yeah. Nice work, Zach, keep going. That's it, Richard, so strong. Keep moving. Using your breath. And change. Finished with our planks. I'll walk us through our four sets of abs this morning, throwing in a few little different ones. So the first ones are the V sit-ups. You kind of feel like you're starting in a chill position because you're on your forearms. Then you hover your legs and we come, here's the baby version where you just drive the knees in towards the chest. It's not really baby because you got to keep your core engaged so you don't wear it in your lower back. You want a little more you come to meet your chest towards your thighs. So that's our first one. Our second one is a little different. It's hip lifts with a twist and you go from side to side. So you're lying on your back, your forearms support your hips and you lift and you bring the knees towards the right shoulder 
come back down and then towards the left shoulder. So a little bit of a dance through the hips. So that's our second one. If you wanna just do straight up hip lifts, you can keep the knees bent and take the twist out of it, you decide. Suitcase crunch. So knees are stacked over the hips, hands to the forehead, and like you're trying to shut your suitcase, you come on up to a crunch. Hands reaching towards the knees. And our last one is straight up bicycles. Pretty straightforward, rounding out the four sets. So V sit-ups, hip lift twists, suitcase crunch, bicycles. Here we go, we're on our forearms. And again, here's the baby version. So you're shooting those legs out long while staying switched onto your front body. If you wanna add a little more, you'll reach your chest towards your thighs. Use your strong exhale, keeping that engagement of the front body. Yeah, that's it, Sad. Change. So just to review, the hip lifts, you're pressing into your forearms just a little to get that momentum, but slow descent. And you're tossing the knees from side to side, staying somewhat compact so you can stay engaged through your belly. Oh, deep, deep belly engagement. Trying to avoid using momentum too much. Nice work. Change, good. Suitcase crunch. So again, it's like you're trying to shut the clothes in your suitcase. Hands come to your forehead and press. Squeezing everything in as you lift the chest towards the thighs, hands towards the knees. Yeah, that's it, Meg, nice. If it's too much through the neck, you can always support the head and just do a simple crunch. Change. Bicycles, rounding out our first set. Breathe, prepare, 20 seconds. And you got it. So taking it as fast or as slow as you like, working with integrity as you reach opposite shoulder towards opposite knee. Yeah, that's it, Zoo. Nice. Keep going. Strong exhales. Change. Back to the top. V sit up, spine your forearms. Yeah, strong through the belly, nothing through the lower back. And here we go. So either chest comes all the way up as you press into your hands, or you can stay on your forearms and just drive the knees in as you hover the thighs. Exhaling, that's it, Nicole, nice, keep going. Change, hip twists. So supporting your forearms alongside your hips and tossing the knees from side to side. Again, that slow descent, so not quickly dropping down is where you really start to feel whew, those lower, bustle, lower uh, abdominal muscles. Yeah, that's it, Richard, nice. Change, good work. Let's find our suitcase crunch. Prepare, three, two, one, here we go. Crunch it on up. 20 seconds to take them as fast or as slow as you like. You wanna feel this in the front body, definitely not the back body. So work at your own pace, modify where you need to. That's a cooch, so strong. Change, finishing out round two with bicycles. Three, two, one, and let's go. And we get a little more of your back body up off the mat as you take it from side to side here. Nice oblique work. That's it, Meg. Those pants make it look like you're going so fast. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Twisting it on out. Woo. Change. Good work, everyone. Two more rounds to go. Coming up onto our forearms. Three, two, one, and let's go. Strong exhale. Really tapping into that lower belly. Yeah, that's it, Richard. Go Philly. Nice. Oh, yeah. 
three, two, one, change. Hip twists, getting into those obliques a little. Three, two, one, here we go. So you don't have to come up super high with the hip lift, but really focusing on that slow lower with control. Yes, nice cooch, you got that. Good work, Phil. Tiny little twist here or straight up hip lifts if that's more your jam. Change. Suitcase crunch. Knees stacked over the hips. Hands to forehead. Three, two, one, here we go. And we're really trying to stuff it all in here. Thanks to your strong bellies. That's a ton, nice work. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, change. Bicycles, finishing up round three. Recovering and begin. Cycling it on out. Can you find that true twist as you cinch up the waist? Yeah, that's it, Hamish, you got it. Exhale, exhale. Change. One more round of these. V sit ups take us to the top. And again, 20 seconds, maybe a little faster pace, maybe a little slower. Tapping into your breath. So good. That's it, Phil. Nice. You got it, Stu. Fantastic. Ooh, strong through those bellies. Change. Hip twists. A little rub of appreciation on our bellies, right? Three, two, one, here we go. Take it from side to side. Again, nice and controlled so you are not dumping into your lower back at all. Strong through the front side. Yes, Sad, that's it. Exhaling. Change, suitcase crunch. Last time we have to do these today. <laughs> Three, two, one, and go. Getting really compact as we drive the chest towards the thighs, thighs towards the chest. Connected to our strong bellies. Yeah, that's it, Richard, nice. Change. Bicycles to finish out our ab work. Breathing here. Three, two, one, let's go. Pedal it on out. Maybe a little more energy left for this last round. Maybe you need to go slower. That's it, Tom. Fantastic. Keep going. Twist, twist. Oh, good work, guys. Great ad work. <laughs> Feeling that one this morning. <laughs> All right, I'll go through um, what we're going to do for our squats, our upper body work, our balance, and then our heart rate spike. Leapfrog squats. So just like a little kid, leapfrog when you're about to jump over someone, you get really low, and then you come high up under your tippy toes. So low through your squat, and then reaching high. So a balance element as you come up on your tippy toes, but really working those in our outer thighs and hips. Shoulder tap press-ups for our upper body work. Again, take them or leave them if you want to do straight up press-ups. Tap shoulder, tap shoulder, add the press-up. Can you keep the swaying of the hips to a minimum? That's what I'm going for. Take it on your knees, you can do straight up press-ups. Right side, forward. Left leg back for our lunge work. If you wanted to add a weight for a little heftier tricep work, but we're going down for two, up for two, down for two, that's our balance work. So getting a little tricep work. And then of course, mountain climbers round out that first set of four to get the cardio last. So leapfrog squats, shoulder tap press-ups, overhead tricep lunge, mountain climbers get low. And 
and take it to that level change and low through the squat, high through the reach as we take our leap frog squats. Yeah, really nice, Billy. So keep the chest lifted as you find the depth in your legs. Good work. Change. Shoulder tap press ups or your variation thereof. Three, two, one, here we go. Again, connecting to your midline to keep those hips from waving in space too much. Awesome, Meg, so good. Use your breath. That's it, Zoom, so nice. Woo. Change. So we bring the right foot forward, left leg nice and long, long behind us. Knee over ankle of that right leg. Arms overhead. And two counts down, two counts high. You don't need to lose the bend in that front knee as you come up. It's just from that lunge position, you lower two and lift two. Yes, Seth, good. Keep going. Woo. Change. Feel that stretch in that left hip flexor. Okay, mountain climbers, here's our cardio blast. Three, two, one, and let's go. Find your shoulders stacking over your wrists so your hips aren't too high and you drive opposite knee to opposite arm. And you're so light for your toes, thanks to your strong bellies. Yeah, that's it, Tom. Nice pacing, you guys. Woo. Change. First set done. Maybe catch your breath in your squat. Three, two, one. Lower and lift. Maybe this long weekend's catching up with us. <laughs> Keep going, everyone. So good. That's it, Bill. You got it, Cooch. Nice height through that reach. Nice depth through the squat. Belly stays engaged. Change. Shoulder tap press ups. Catch your breath in your plank, maybe. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Again, come to your knees if you like. Maybe you just do the straight up shoulder taps. That's a lot of work in the upper body as well. Working within your level to keep your shoulders safe. Whew. Change. Find that right foot forward. Give yourself a little stance between both feet. Find balance. And here we go. Lower two. Up two. Keeping that right knee nice and stacked over that right heel. So you're not straightening that front right leg. It is trying to stay in a 90 degree angle. Question mark. Yeah, that's a cooch. Change. Mountain climbers. Catch your breath and plank here. 20 seconds to get that heart rate spiked. And here we go. That's it, Tom. Nice. Find that pace. You got it, Hamish. Fantastic. Woo! Awesome, Meg. I love it. Keep going, keep going. Belly draws in. Quick on your feet. Change. Two down, two of this first set to go. Leap for all squats. And here we go. Find a little joy in our sleep frogs. Yeah, keep going, keep going. That's it, Richard, so nice. Strong through the exhale as you press down to lift up. That's it, too, nice. Change, shoulder tap press ups. Get your breath in plank, maybe. Three, two, one, here we go. Strong through the legs to support your bellies. As we get fatigued, it's easier to kind of collapse into that weakness. Whew. Staying healthy through the spine. Change. Right foot far enough forward so you can find that bend. Arms up overhead. 
And down, down, lift, lift. Let's go. 20 seconds. Connecting to your belly here. So you are not dumping into your lower back through the lowering and the lifting. Yeah, that's awesome. So good, Phil. Age. Mountain climbers. Yep. Starting up in our plane. <laughs> And last up is cardio. So strong through the upper body and through your belly that your feet are barely touching the ground. Yeah, good pace up. Keep going. Woo. Change. I think we have one more round of those, right? Yeah. One more round. Man. Three. Two, one, leapfrog squats. Here we go. Nice level change, everyone. Oh, sun's coming out. Whew. High on those tippy toes. You got it. Nice reaching. That's it, Philly. Nice lift through the chest. Good depth in that squat, Nicole. Whew. Change. Shoulder tap press ups. Catch your breath in the plank, maybe. Three. Two, one, and we're on. This is the last round of these press ups. Can you keep that movement through the hips to a minimum? Oh, yeah. That's a two. Nice. So strong. Change. Right foot forward, low lunge, arms overhead. And pulse it down for two, pulse it up for two. We're on. That's it, Richard, nice. Big shoulder stacking over hips, connected by your strong belly. Yes, Koosh, that's it. Nice, Hamish. Woo. Change. We'll come on down, catch our breath, setting up for our mountain climbers. Last one of these, guys. Bring away God and 20 seconds, you're on. Maybe a little faster pace this round. You get to catch your breath as I explain the next four. So give it what you got. Keep going, keep going. Oh yeah. Change. Good work, everyone. I'll go through our next set of four. So our first one. Towel off, have some water. It's humid here today. <laughs> we're squatting and we're kicking forward. So getting the depth in our squat and still that level change as we come forward with the kick straight forward. Our upper body work for this one is a bare hand to knee tap. So hovering tabletop and you tap knee with your hand while staying nice and low with your knees and nice and even with your spine. So that's belly work and upper body work. We'll take the overhead try with the left foot forward and finish out, of course, with our beloved wide-legged burpees. <laughs> Squat, kick forward, take us to the top. Let's go, guys. Three, two, one. And then we just have to do this a few times and then we're done. Feels so good. Nice kicks, everyone. So we're not flinging our legs, but really controlled thanks to our strong bellies. Oh yeah, that's awesome, Phil. Keep going. Change. So just to review those bear taps, you're hovering in the tabletop, knees are lifted, and you tap hand to opposite knee. Here we go. Yeah. So take it as slow or as fast as you like, but I want you to keep those knees hovering Thanks to that engagement through your belly. Yeah. You are not lifting the hips too high. Oh, we sneak up on you. Change. Yowza. Left leg forward, right leg nice and back, far back in our lunge. And here we go. Down, down, up, up. Down, down. Maybe I should say halfway up because we don't really want to come straight through that front left leg. 
I know my tendency is to pop my ribs out. So try and think about cinching through the waist. Yeah, that's it, nice. Wide leg of earthies. Set up for a little cardio blast here. Three, two, one, and we're on. Jump back, jump wide, and squeeze to stand. Be honest through your pacing, working to get that heart rate up. Awesome, so good, Richard. Fantastic, Philly. Keep going, keep going. Woo! Change. Good work. That's our first round. Only three more to go. Squat, kick forward, take us to the top. And kick it on out. Yeah, that's it, Tom. Nice. So finding that power through both legs, actually. The one that's helping you stand and the one that's kicking forward. All the while connected to your belly. Nothing through the lower back. Yeah. Change. And we get to connect our belly even more in our bare knee taps. If you want to just do straight up press ups, be my guest. Woo. Here we go. As fast or as slow that makes sense to you. I'm coming to my fists. Give my wrists a little break. Woo. Good work, you guys. Nice tapping. That's it, Hamish. Change. Finding our left foot forward, right leg long back behind us. Elbow taps a little, and we drop and we lift in a count of two. Yeah, Philly, nice. Keeping that depth as the weight drives over that left heel, knee stacking over. Nice, Nicole, you got it. Woo. Change. Wide legged burpees, round two. A little energy through the hands. Three, two, one, here we go. Blast it out, guys. Stay connected to your belly so you are not heavy on your landings. Yes, such a good pace. That's awesome, Zoo. Keep going. Yeah, you got it, Phil. Nice. Fantastic work, guys. Change. Two more to go. Squat kick forwards. Three, two, one, and go. Finding that kick, finding the power through your legs as you find a low squat. That's it. Really nice. You got it, Tom. Fantastic. Strong through the bellies. Woo. Change. Bare knee taps. Mm. Covering those knees, tap into your belly and then tapping opposite hand to me. The hips don't come too high, so there is a nice horizontal plane through the spine, and your stance keeps your hips and knees stacked. Yeah. Change. Left leg forward for our low, our overhead tricep lunge. Three, two, one and down, down, up, up. Woo. Strong through your bellies as you lower, getting that nice stretch through that right hip flexor. You got a cooch, nice. Man, change. One legged like burpees, round three. Yeah, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, right? And go. Jump back, jump wide, squeeze to stand. Do you have a little more pace on this side? Do you feel a little more lighter through your feet thanks to that strong connection to your belly? So good. That's it, Billy. Nice. Awesome work. So good, Nicole. Change. One more round. Yay. Right? This is not the best part. You know, you only have one more set. Let's give it what we got, guys. Squat, kick forward. Use your breath. Perhaps you're feeling a little fatigue. That's okay. Work at a pace that makes sense. 
and your breath will tell you that. Yeah, nice death. That's it, Richard. So good. Change. Bare knee taps. Hover those knees in your tabletop. And go. Think about where your hips are in space. Keeping that flat line through the spine and that strong belly engagement. That's it, Phil. So good. You got it, Hamish. Woo. Keep going, Sam. Yeah. Change. Left foot forward. Overhead tricep lunge. And lower, lower, lift, lift. Feeling that squeeze of that right side glute so that the left leg doesn't feel like it's taking all of the weight. Yeah, that's it, Philly. Nice death. Keep going. Almost finished. Change. This might be the best part of the class. Last set of wide legged burpees. Let's bring it. Three, two, one. Find your pacing. So you finish up. So happy it's over. Yeah, go, Richard. <laughs> nice, Sam. You got it, Billy. You're laughing him. I see it. Go, Phil. Go, Cooch. That's it, Hamish. Nice work. Go, Zoo. Awesome. That's it, Tom. Change, change, change. You guys are awesome.